Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I'm back with a brand new little fun tutorial for you today, and I'm going to show you how to create a fun little journal in GoodNotes. So if you're in our Boho Berry Digital Planners Facebook group, that's a mouthful, um, I just released a bunch of new freebies in the group yesterday, and they are essentially these notebook covers along with some open notebook pages. So what I did with that is I created my very own notebook in GoodNotes using those templates. So I have the cover here at the beginning and then I have just the open spread and I've duplicated that over and over to create pages for my little digital journal. So I've done mine with a really simple gray background but you could absolutely have fun with it and I wanted to show you how to do that today. All right so I'm going to go into Procreate. And I'm going to create a new document. And just for ease, I'm going to make this screen size. All right. So the first thing I want to do is bring in that open notebook image. So I have these saved on my iCloud drive. So I'm just going to go to the wrench, go to image, and I'm going to insert a file. And actually, I have these in Google Drive. I changed my mind. <laughs> um, so these are in the Boho Berry Digital Planners freebie. Within the group, there is a link to this Google Drive folder. So when you open it up, you can just go straight to Doodle Notebooks and then select the one that you want to import. Um, I'm going to go with, I think, hot pink for this one. There we go. And it brought the image right in. And what's great about these is that they are a transparent background. So you'll see if I turn the background color off here, you can see that there's no white background around them. What that means is that you can kind of create your own background for them. So I'm going to do a little plus symbol here to create a new layer and I'm going to put it under my notebook. So this will be kind of the background image that we're going to have. And you can absolutely do just a solid color layer like I did. Um, let's see, what's a cute color to go with hot pink? Maybe like a lavender. That might be cute. And I'm going to fill that layer. You could do something like a light blue. I really like that. Um, and then you would essentially just export this as a PDF and open it in GoodNotes. The other option is you could insert some sort of photo here as a background. So if you found something online that was like a desktop uh, that you wanted to add, let's do insert a photo. And let's go with this one. I created this cool watercolor background thing um, using another app called Adobe Sketch. But let's just kind of make it big, kind of move it down. And there we go. So now you have a totally different background for your journal. And I actually really like this background, so I'm going to keep it as is. So I'm going to export this as a PDF. So I'm going to hit Share, PDF, and I always do best quality and hit export. And then from here, you can actually open it directly into GoodNotes. So I'm going to copy to GoodNotes. And since I already have a document open, it's asking me if I want to import this as a page above or below what I'm currently on, or if I want to create a new document. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to put it in my planners. And then you'll see that I have this brand new document. So this is essentially a PDF. So I can write on this just as I normally would. I can add in stickers and then move them around, no problem. Um, and then what's really cool about this is if you want to create a new page, all you have to do is swipe right and release to add a page, and it's going to copy that exact same page. So you can add multiple upon multiple pages here. All right, for the cover, the way that I did my cover, let me go back to that very first one, you'll notice that it has kind of a gray border around it, and that is so that when it's in here, um, that gray kind of blends in with the gray background of GoodNotes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm going to go back to my gallery and I am going to do again a screen size canvas, but this time I'm going to flip it around vertically and I'm going to bring in the image of my hot pink cover. So let's go to image, insert a file, back to my Google Drive, and I want the closed hot pink cover. Here we go. And that's going to bring it in. And now if you're on magnetic down here, you can resize this and make it large enough to kind of fill, fill the screen and kind of get it centered. And then all you want to do with this is add that gray background. 
So I actually saved that color to my palettes. Basically what I did is I screenshotted um, the GoodNotes screen and then I found the hexadecimal number for that color and I saved it right here. So I'm gonna tap on it and go to value. So you can see the color is E6, 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 really simple. Um, and now that I have that there, I am going to create a new layer and I'm going to fill that color onto that layer. So now we have that gray background. And now I can just export this. I could export it as a photo so that I can add it to my cover options in GoodNotes, but I'm just gonna share it because I don't see myself using this as a cover for any other notebook. So I'm gonna share it as a PDF, just like I did with the pages. I'm gonna say best quality, export, copy to GoodNotes. Hold on, you wanna make sure you have your planner open first. All right, so this is the journal that we just created. And let's repeat that process. I'm gonna share PDF, best quality, export, copy to GoodNotes, and I'm gonna import this above. And now my very first page here is my cover. And when I tap out of it, you can see that it's now a cute little cover in my, in my notebooks. Now, if you did want to use this again as a cover for a different notebook, then you want to just save this as a PNG, save it to your camera roll, go to Good Notes, and from your main screen here, you want to hit Options on the bottom right, go to Template Library, and I already have a folder for custom covers that I created. If you don't have one of these, you can just hit Make sure that you're on covers down here, not papers, but you can hit the plus sign and create your own folder. I just called mine custom. Then once you have that, click on that custom folder and then hit edit plus. And then we're gonna go to photos because that's where we saved that image. And it is right here. And now if you scroll to the very bottom, you have that as a cover available. And then the way that you would add that to your journal Let's say, for example, I'll delete this cover. Edit, trash, yes. Okay, so this is the very first page of my journal. All I would do is hit the plus symbol, add page above, and then instead of being on papers, make sure that you're on covers and scroll all the way down to the bottom and select that image. And then what's really fun is you can just kind of play around with this just like you would with a regular blank notebook. Of course, you're not gonna have all the fancy links and all that sort of stuff, but you will definitely have the ability to create bookmarks. So for example, I'm just gonna show you what I did in mine. I'm just gonna lasso and copy all this over. So I've got my index here on page whatever, then I've got page one and two. Let's say that I did my level 10 life. All right, we've got that right there. Um, and let's say that you know, I have the index up here so I can see page one to two is my level 10 life. But let's say that I want like a quick link to be able to access this one in particular because it's something I refer back to a lot. So all you have to do is go up to your thumbnails up here, make sure that you're on the page that you want to bookmark and go to bookmarks in the center and hit the plus symbol. And then I'm going to say level 10 life. Okay, and done. So now I have a bookmark there for level 10 life. So no matter where I am in my journal, let's say I'm on this random page, um, I can just go to my bookmarks, hit level 10 life, and it'll take me right there. Um, this is a great way too to organize if you wanna have your months bookmarked, your weeks, any special occasions, things like that. Um, I do still like having kind of a traditional index up front so I can just kind of look through it and see what's in this journal. Um, but what's really great too is, you know, you don't have to add a ton of pages at the beginning. Just every time you're ready to kind of move on, say I got to the end here um, and I need more pages, all you have to do is swipe 
and add that new page. And it's really, really fun. It's like a never ending little notebook. All right, y'all. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.